And also, I'm, I'm cutting against the grain and not with the grain. I'm going to show you how to cut with the grain if you had to. Alright, so this is how I'm cutting right now. I'm putting it all the way up. Alright. And you see the hair coming off? Just a little bit. I don't want too much hair to come off. Because I'm growing my hair, alright? And the more you cut your hair, the more it actually grows. For the people who don't know that. When you cut the ends, your hair grow better. Because the ends in your hair actually keep breaking your hair and they keep making it shorter. So once you cut off those breaking ends, it makes life much better. So now, so now that you go into the back, just use your mirror, whatever mirror you have, and just start. Just move up. On the other side. And move up. And you're practically done after this. To ensure that your hair is even, just keep going over it. And just keep going on it. Just keep going. Now that you have a guard on it, Everything is protected. You already know what level your hair is going to be like. So you don't have to be scared. Just straight go through your hair and try to get everything even. You just have to go through it, go through it. Uh, go back. Go up. It's going to, no matter what, your hair is always going to be the same level. Because you have a guard on it. So have confidence. Let's go. Now, for the people, all right. Now, for the people that are, um, how you would say, have short hair, and they need and they want their waves to show up, or they're doing a. Uh, with the green cut, mostly when people are doing with the green cut, they just had to have waves. What they would have to do, now my clippers are on. What you would have to do is you would have to figure out where the middle of your head is. So what you can do is put your hand right here to wherever the middle of your head is. You can use a mirror to figure that out. So this is what I do, hold the back of your head wherever that breaking point is and you put your clipper right in front of it and go forward, go forward, go forward, go forward. And then on the other side, hold your head right here. Go forward, side, side, side. For the back, hold your hand right here where the breaking point is. Go back, go back, go back, go back. On the side, 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 side side and you back 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 now the trick to this is you don't go overboard you don't go where to where your hair is actually going down you actually go a little higher you don't go past that breaking point maybe you could go before the breaking point but not past it when you go on the sides you go all the way on the sides right and when you go back you go back now, when you're done doing that, you take a mirror and you look at the center of your head and you see if there's any hair that hasn't been cut off. And then you just cut it off. You look in your mirror and if you see that piece is not there, boom, 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 you take it off. You go on the side, boom, 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 you take it off. All right, just, just a little tip to help you guys out, all right? Now, 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 I have realized that a lot of people are actually mixing up 
they're they're not getting their their hairlines crisp they're not getting their hairlines crisp people are not getting their hairlines crisp so what can we do to help them all right i've done this before but i'm doing it again and i think i'm going to do it every week until everyone gets it right let's go so you get your your comb or whatever your brush or your comb whatever you prefer and you comb out your hair to this is the level that you want it, right? Get the size, get all the knots out, everything like that. Boom. Well. 